Good morning. Um, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about how you can get some extra value from some of your cover crops by also using them as a forage crop. So there's three ways you can, you can utilize covers as a forage. One is to harvest them as hay, another is haylage, um, or thirdly to graze them. And there are some of the species that are better suited for these purposes than others. One of the ones that works really well as a forage is uh, the sorghum family of cover crops. And what we have here behind me, this is Sudan grass. And directly behind me, we have Sudex, or a sorghum Sudan grass hybrid, which has uh, some of the better characteristics of both the forage sorghum and the Sudan grass as a, as a forage. And these have one of the higher potential uh, dry matter yields as a forage crop. The good thing about using, uh, taking advantage of the forage aspect is that you still have the roots in the ground after you are done harvesting the forage. And so those roots and the residue and any regrowth that you get after a harvest is still going to be there to assist you with uh, improving your soil. The sorghum family is one of the higher yield potential uh, cover crops that we have. These were planted in midsummer, so we have several months of growth here. These are warm season plants, so they're not going to grow anymore after you get a frost on them. These have had a little bit of frost has nipped the uh, ends of the leaves here. So this could be harvested at any time because you're not going to get any additional growth from it. One thing that you need to be careful of with the sorghum family is, is also related to the frost. Uh, and that is that these plants contain prussic acid. And anything that wilts the leaves releases that prussic acid and makes it uh, a potential toxin for your animals. So if you were going to graze a sorghum or Sudan grass that was in this state where it has been frosted and started to wilt and dry down, this would be a very dangerous time of year to do that. Um, you would want to get your animals off it during the time of year when you are having killing frost until it's completely dried down and no longer green. Uh, and then it would be safe. Um, you can harvest this as hay or haylage. The prussic acid is destroyed during the process of drying down the hay or the silage. And so after the hay and silage is completely uh, cured or fermented, then it would be safe to feed to animals from a prussic acid standpoint.